Hello everybody and welcome to Construction Simulator. Something a bit different today. We are going to be returning to Farming Simulator tomorrow, but I just thought it'd be nice to take a look at this as I have just been sent the early access version. It is officially released on the 20th of September, so not too long from now at all. Uh, it should be tomorrow if you're watching this on the day of release. So uh, yeah, it looks pretty interesting. This is not a sponsored video by the way. So um, yeah, let's just get straight into this. I've not played it before. I haven't played the Construction Simulator series before either, so it's going to be pretty new to me, but I'm looking forward to it. So we're going to start our new profile, and we're going to run through the character selection. So we've got a good load of different characters to choose from here. Hmm, loads. Uh, I'm just going to go with... Which one should we go with? Uh, we'll go with him. Okay, so I'll accept that. Base color. Now what's that going to change? Okay, so it looks like our clothes go with green. PPE color, that would be the hard hat. Yeah, you can't beat yellow. Uh, helmets, can't seem to change anything here with this selection. Uh, hearing protection, yeah, I think we're okay without that for now. It may be required later for the machinery. Glasses, yeah, we'll put them on. And the decal. Um, yeah, so it's pretty good. I think we'll probably keep them on there. Accept, and we need a name. I think it's quite obvious that I'm going to be called Dagawin, because I always am. Um, yes, we want to start our own game. Create a new company. We're going to want to go to Europe. Accept that. A company logo. Okay, um, yep, we'll go with the, uh, Spanner or wrench and the screwdriver. Company name. I'm normally called Dagawin Logistics, but this probably isn't going to work for this. So we'll call it Dagawin. Will construction fit? Nope. Uh, the Dagawin Group. Makes us sound big. Okay. Start single player game. And we're off. Okay. A rough start. Feeling a little lost in life? You're thinking about your future when destiny comes knocking on your door. It's the middle of the night when your phone rings. It's Harpe, long-term friend of the family and the owner of a local construction company. There's a bad storm and he needs your help. Little could you know just how drastically this stormy night would alter the course of your fate. Okay, so there we are. Yeah, hopefully my sound settings are correct. I've just been tweaking them. Um, yeah, I really hope the effects aren't too loud and I hope the dialogue is loud enough. So, press continue, and here we are. So, we can walk around. I like that it says our name on the post box. Is it a post box? I think it might be. Dagawin. Um, so yeah, let's move on. Follow the markers and speak to Harpe. So it looks like he's down here. We can run by pressing left shift. Yeah, I like the graphics. Very nice. A nice floodlit walk down to here. Oh, there's our first lorry. Okay, let's speak to him. Press G. Ah, finally, there you are. I hope you haven't forgotten me. Well, if you want me to jog your memory, it's me, Hoppe. I always knew you'd become a real construction ace someday. Now is your chance to prove it because I urgently need your help. So let's get moving. There was a bad storm last night and it left a ton of damage in its path. There's been a landslide at the bridge coming into the village. It also knocked down a utility pole, and many parts of the village lost power. We have to get over there and clear the road. We'll need a wheel loader, which I have to pick up. It's best if you get behind the wheel of the flatbed truck and drive ahead. Just follow the GPS to the meeting point. Right then, so let's get into the lorry. Let's just walk over here. Press G to enter. And we need to put our lights on. So let's just see here. Press F, lights, headlights. There we go. I did see some other options. 
rotating lights. The beacons, oh yes, lovely. We have our beacons. And I do have the steering wheel set up so that we can drive with the steering wheel and the paddles. It didn't actually request for me to put the beacons on, but they look good anyway, and I suppose it would make sense. We are going to somewhere where there is a landslide. Try and drive carefully. I do have a dead zone on my steering wheel. Before I started the game I also set up my indicators. Oh, at least I thought I did. They don't seem to be working. Okay, we'll just stop at this red light and I will just set that up. Indicator left, flappy paddle left. Indicator right, flappy paddle right. Okay, I think we're ready to uh, get back to the game. There we go, the indicators work. Okay, let's just wait for these traffic lights to change. Come on, traffic lights. There we go. It's a deserted road. <laughs> but I guess they're all programmed like that for daytime, as well as nighttime. Love the power finger. We've got the power finger grab there. High ab. Lots of real brands in this game. I just missed that red light. Whoops. Although it doesn't actually say that we have to stop at the red lights. We have a job to do. It's an emergency. Okay, looks like we have arrived on site. So I'll just move out of the way actually because that's going to be where we need to manoeuvre with the wheel loader. Should be okay there. Okay, open the menu. Turn the lights off. And we'll jump out. First and foremost, we need a light. Turn on the mobile generator. It must be here then. Ah, much better. Now we can see what we're doing. And there's the wheel loader. 950M cat. The landslide has to be cleared off the roadway. With the wheel loader, this should be done in no time. Okay, so this is what we're clearing. Oh, it looks like the police are here. Um, yep, so we need to jump into this wheel loader over here and start scooping. Over here. <laughs> went the wrong way um, so it looks like we get to learn about the machines wheel loaders are suitable for loading large quantities of bulk materials such as soil, gravel or sand properly aligned the bucket of the a wheel loader is also suitable for clearing, flattening and spreading bulk materials ok good let us begin so you'll have to bear with me here because I am new to it ok so that's how we lift it ok good and down yep yeah. So, practice is going to make perfect with this. Again, hopefully the audio is set correctly. I did just check, although, yeah, this machine might be quite loud. So, let's put that down, scoop up a bit, give you a better view. Well, that could have been worse. I've got my first bucket load. And we need to put it over here. Right, let's get tipping. Okay, right, so just need to move enough so we can actually get through. And then we can see what the next job is going to be. Just reposition that bucket. I'm probably doing this a little bit too fast. A lot of earth was washed onto the road here, and then it, and then it also knocked down a power pole. I think it said it disappeared too quickly, uh, but yeah, I think we get the idea. So let's just keep shifting. I'll clear enough until we can get this road opened.
Well, it seems to be clear enough. Let's just dump this bucket load. And then we can go over to the marked area. I have to keep trying to give you the best views. And there we go. So just back where we got it from. Okay, so where is he? He's somewhere over here. There he is. Hello. I've kind of cleared the road for you. Now the roadway is open again on half sides. Well done. However, our mission does not end here. The refrigeration system at the local supermarket has failed. There is a mobile generator on the loading area of the flatbed truck. We have to get it to the supermarket as quickly as possible so that the refrigeration can be restored and the food doesn't spoil. I'll see you there. Okay, right, well, we definitely don't want the food to spoil, so um, we must move on. Ooh, a new job accepted. So let's jump into the lorry just over here. MAN. Again, branded. We need to drive to the supermarket, which I think is just down here. So I don't know if I'm going to be doing this every Monday, but I do feel it would be nice to do something else. This could be a new series. We can still do Obelu on Farming Simulator twice a week. I'll probably put a vote actually down below to ask everybody if you want me to continue with this. Right, so we need to use the context menu to move the flatbed truck in function mode. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Bring into position. Park the flatbed crane next to a load and select the function mode from the context menu. Transportable loads always have a visible hook point for the crane hook. To extend the crane hook, both booms must be fully raised with W and the up arrow. Rotate the base of the loading crane with D and A. The indicator is displayed on the ground to help guide the crane hook to the load. Okay, extend the hook. Yeah, I think we get the idea with this. Um, and then press space bar to connect the load to the hook. And I'm not sure that's actually valid for us, that last one there. So, as I said, I am still learning. Very good. Put that one out. Rotate. So we need to pick it up and put it over there. Ah, brilliant. Up it goes. Probably a little bit fast operation there from me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we want to put it over here. Try and slow things down a bit. Not too sure if I can remove that tutorial thing because it's blocking the screen a bit. Anyway. Let's just lower it down. How would you boom out? Ah, there we go. As I said, practice makes perfect. I will try and get it in the right place. We're down. Brilliant. Turn on the generator. I should probably pack this up first of all. Okay. Okay. 
Good. Right, let's jump out of here. Brilliant. I see the street lights are down. Must have been a really bad storm. All done. The lantern has torn the roof and must have damaged some lines in the process. It needs new cladding. First, lift the lantern out of the roof and then drive to the local building material dealer to pick up the required parts. Come on, let's not waste any time. Lifting a lantern. Okay. So... Yeah, it must be this piece here. When it says lantern, I was thinking, what? What? What do they mean? And, yes, it's actually what I would call a street light. So if we can just move forward. So as it turns out, it was a bit of a waste of time me putting that away, but I wasn't ready to know. So let's just get that off that roof. It's no good up there. I always love using these things. In games, that is. <laughs> and watching them in real life. Yes, I've never had the privilege to use one of these in real life. We're attached. Yeah, I love cranes. Massive fan of cranes. Hooked materials can be rotated with left shift. And the arrows, okay, let's rotate. Ah, good. So now we can really control it nicely. To put it down into position. So let's just retract this first of all. Retract the boom. Don't want to hit the lorry. That should be good. And then lower it down very carefully. Yep. Brilliant. We need some materials from the building material dealer. You'll find him a few blocks away. Get the parts you need and then come back quickly. Okay, so we're going to have to pack this up definitely this time. Although, maybe you can actually bypass packing it up if you could go on to drive mode. Oh, you can reset, I think. Yes, you can reset, but um, yeah, I think in the future I might just pack that up myself because it just looks better. But nice feature. Drive mode. Also, we should probably still have headlights on it. <laughs> I shouldn't have turned them off. Okay then, let's get out of here, try not to crash into people's cars, enough damage has been caused already. Hmm, can I go out of there? No, I think it will go the allocated route. If you, if you keep seeing the cursor on the screen, then yeah, it's just me changing the camera angle. So we have to go left out of here. Branches everywhere. Ooh, other traffic. Nice. I am loving the look of this game so far. I will really try my best not to crash into everybody. Got some speed up here. Just wait for these lights. Um, yeah, I, I think first impressions here after playing it for a few minutes. Uh, it looks like a really fun game. Really good graphics. Lots of different things to use, and the branded, the, the real brands, make all the difference in the world. You really can't beat having proper brands in the game. Okay. So we are pretty much there. It's just on the right hand side. Come on car. Come on car. It's an emergency. We need emergency supplies. There we 
we go. Okay. Right then. Let's just park over here. We've discovered the building material dealer. Ah, oh, nice forklift. Nice materials. I can see where this is going. We need to load the materials up. Uh, if you want, you can also use the forklift to load the construction materials, or you can use the flatbed truck's loading crane again. Uh, I think it'd be nice to try out a different machine. So we will actually use the forklift. But, actually, do we need to put... Yeah, so I was going to say, we need to put the boards down on the lorry. I'm ahead of the game. Um, and no, I have not played this before. It just is obvious. <laughs> so let's just uh, do that. We'll jump out again. As I said, you can run, but I do find that for video purposes it's nice to uh, have a more laid-back approach. So forklifts are freely available at the building material dealer and on your company premises. They are only suitable for loading pallets. There is a designated area at both locations from where forklifts can be picked up and used directly. Move your character to the pickup area and hold G to pick up a forklift. Forklifts belong to the respective location area. It is not possible to use them outside of the location. Okay. Well, that makes sense, of course. Um, we don't want to be driving away with them. Do we need lights? I think it'd be nice to put the beacon on. Wow. That's some impressive lighting. But no, I think it's probably a bit blinding for us. We do have some lighting anyway. So, it did actually explain in the tutorial how to use this. I'm hoping I can just figure it out anyway. Probably shouldn't have done it in such an aggressive way, but I do have it on board. Very nice. I just hope that my audio is loud enough. I, I've done several audio checks. The first time the narration was too quiet, or the dialogue was too quiet. Looks like it is fairly forgiving for not being aligned. Whoops. <laughs> um, let me just back up with that one. Put it a little bit further over to the right. There we go. Okay. Right, we will uh, take the forklift back. Put it over here. That's good. And now we need. Do, well, can we strap them on? I don't think we. No, but we can open and close the boards from not being in the lorry. And it's all animated too. Enter the lorry. And let's get back. I think we've got everything. I left their beacon on. Sorry. I'm sure somebody else is going to be using it soon. It is great. It's like all of your favourite things mixed into one. I suppose there's no farming, but there's driving. There's lots of vehicles. You don't have to stop at the red lights, it's just I thought it'd be good to. And beautiful scenery as well.
starting to wonder why I actually turned left out of there before. I was following the GPS, but probably didn't need to. Right, let's get that back into work mode. Uh, we need to put these materials on the roof. Our pallet of roof tiles and our pallet of vapor retarder. Okay then, so starting to get used to this now. Using our lovely pal finger crane. I think first of all I'm going to go for the closest one, it just makes sense. Up we go. Just change that camera angle. Okay then, let's boom out. And we may not have to, but I will rotate it. So left shift, and then the arrows, left and right. There we go. Let's lower that carefully into position. Now, for the other one. Should be fairly easily achieved. Good. Up it goes. Yeah, looking at that actually would have been better to use the uh, crane on this one first as it's going behind. But not to worry. Yeah, and there's so many different machines that we can use in this game. This really is just the start. Okay, there we go. So let's go back onto here, drive mode, and we'll jump out because that, that's the lorry all prepared, ready for the next job. There we go. Speak to Harpe. The supermarket manager is happy, and we've crossed one problem off our list. But I just got another call. It seems a car has slid into a construction pit. I'll meet you there. Ooh, do we have to go car fishing? Sounds interesting. It certainly sounds like we're going to be fishing a car out of a construction pit with the crane. I really don't know if you can go that way. It just feels like I should be able to cut through here. I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, it, it, it does seem to be very free. This game it doesn't restrict you. Oh, it's also updated the GPS. Right, it's not far from here at all. I love the steering wheel support, it makes all the difference. Using a steering wheel and pedals over the keyboard is uh, a game changer. Just feels so much more immersive. Drive to the accident scene. Well, hopefully nobody's hurt. I don't really know what to expect. Oh, they've got the police here as well. Beautiful scenery. Ah, okay. Really, how do you get there? I'm guessing they've already tried to fish it out with the digger, the excavator, because... Oh no, it's possibly gone in there. Hmm. Well, we can definitely get it out. No doubt about it. Ah, oh, the power's back on. It 
It seems that the power line got repaired and the village has power again. Nice. Uh, so we're going to have to speak to him before we go car fishing. Where is he? Oh, that... Look at that, how our character blocks out the light. Very realistic. We put up extra warnings, but there's always someone who ignores them. Always. So this serves them right. <laughs> we have to salvage the car and the broken pipe from the excavation pit and take them to the building yard for scrap. There you can also get a new pipe for the gas line and then we'll waste no time installing it. Right. <laughs> yes, I don't think he's too happy about it. Oh, you can also use the crawler excavator to load the accident vehicle. Well, since we've already used the lorry, it would be nice to try out a different machine. So excavators can move large amounts of earth and are suitable for any kind of construction site. Crawler excavators move across uneven terrain on tracks and can rotate their carriage around their own axis to move masses of earth. But mastering tracked vehicles takes a bit of practice. Mobile excavators offer a good mix of movement and bucket capacity on medium-sized construction sites. Only the compact excavators and compact crawler excavators offer impressively small sizes and numerous possible applications. So this is Wacker Newson. I like this. I was just wondering actually if there is a first person view. I've not even considered it yet. I'm going to check the settings. Yeah, I was thinking there must be a, a first person view. So this is achieved by pressing K on the keyboard. Right, so is this fairly self-explanatory? Ah, so it looks like... Let me just go back to third person view. Yes, I can't move forward because we've got all these concrete bollards, but I'm actually using W, S, D and A to do this. I was expecting it to be the arrow keys. But that's good. Uh, and also, the bucket must be done with the arrow keys. Yes, it is. So let's just get that over. Yeah, the controls are surprisingly simple. It's nice. Okay, so we're going to have to extend the bucket, I think, to reach. Up it comes. Oh! <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a right off that car. Don't think we need to be too careful. I love this. This is great. I think we probably should have put the boards down, although where do they want this? They do want it in the lorry. Right, I'm just going to put the boards down. We may have to get a bit closer as well. I think if we just shunt a bit closer, make our life easier. It's not fully on. I think if I if I lift that up again and do this. Oh no, that's gonna throw it. <laughs> yeah, do that and then lower it. That's better. Good. And now for the gas pipe. There it is down there. I think it is just the one piece. There we go. So yeah, nice excavator. Is 
Very nice indeed. Back into the lorry and we can head off. We have everything that we need. We're going to dispose of the scrap. Just wondering, yeah, if press M, we also get a map view. And you can see it's quite a uh, quite a vast area. Let's go into the first person view of this. Yep, the dials work, so we've got the RPM and we've got the speed. We can look around, but not really advisable while driving. Where do we need to go? Over there. Okay. I think the best way of doing this is just to pull up alongside it and then we can rotate it on the crane. Well, we don't actually have to, but I will do. Just feels like the right thing to do. So back into a different mode, work mode. Let's get the crane going. Get rid of the car first, it's a bit in the way. So they want to have it facing outwards. Not a problem. We can do that. There we go. Right, boom out, lower down, and it's in. Now for the pipe. Once again, I will rotate it. Just hit the car for good luck, if we can do. Yep, just to uh, finish it off. <laughs> it's its punishment for being naughty. And we are done. Okay, there is the new gas pipe. Can we reach it from here? I'm not too sure if we can reach it from here. If we fully extend. It's a good reach. Very nice. Just as a demonstration, that is our reach. That's fantastic. Okay, enough of that. Let's bring it back in, retract it put it into the back and then we can take it back to the site done uh, you can use the map to fast travel to places that we've already visited I'm not going to do that but it's a nice option for anybody who is interested in doing that. There we go. All packed up. Change the mode. Not quite retracted. Try that again.
it's not too far to go anyway. It is just down here, but I suppose in later jobs we might have to cross a vast area. In which case that feature would be extremely handy, especially if it's a repetitive job. Whoops. <laughs> uh, that was not supposed to happen. Hope the police didn't see that. And we are back. The car swept a lot of soil into the construction pit. Get on the excavator and clean the pit. You can drop the soil on the earth pile next to the pit. Okay. This is the sort of job I'll probably do as a time lapse. It looks good as a time lapse. Let's see here. Yes, I can see the dirt. It really should not take too long to clear though. So we scoop that up and we put it into this area over here. I was expecting the controls to be quite fiddly, but I am impressed. My first impression of, of using the controls um, was that it was a little fiddly, but you soon get the hang of it. There we have it. We've got the gas pipe. Now very carefully lower this into position. Can we rotate with this? Oh, we can. Done. Right, so let's just jump out again. We'll have a word. All done. Defective gas lines can be extremely dangerous. It's good we were able to help so quickly. There's another problem that we need to tackle down at the railroad embankment. Part of the track there was washed away. We need to jump in to prevent problems during rush hour later. It's not far from here. I'll meet you there in a minute. And that minute, unfortunately, is going to be a week because that is the end of the video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please do post down below any feedback. It's always much appreciated. And uh, yeah, I will see you again this time next week for more Construction Simulator. See you again soon. Bye for now.